What's up everyone? It's the one Jamin. Today we are playing Mardu Planeswalker Super Friends. We're playing almost every Planeswalker you can play in the Mardu color besides Chandra Hope's Beacon and a couple other ones like Nahiri. But we're not playing Beacon because we're not playing a lot of instants and sorceries besides these removal spells. What's the game plan? Remove our opponent's creatures, then play Planeswalkers, then take over the game. And what more do you want when you're playing a Planeswalker deck, then to have a billion Planeswalkers in play to where you have to press the arrow to see the next Planeswalker on your board because the board can't fit the number of Planeswalkers on your board, okay? We're playing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, tw twelve Planeswalkers, and we're also playing Geological Appraiser and Trumpeting Carnosaur to be able to floop into our Planeswalkers. And the cool thing about this is with Quintorius Can on the board, and we use Geological Appraiser or Trumpeting Carnosaur. Yes, there's only four of those in the deck. Don't go crazy in the comments. But we get to drain for two life if we cast something from Exile. That works from other things as well, but that's the only things I can think of at the moment. All of all these other Planeswalkers do a lot of cool stuff, and you'll get to see those in the matches. I don't want to explain every Planeswalker if you haven't seen those before, but you've probably seen these before. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the matches. By the way, this mana base is extremely greedy. No basic lands. We don't need them. Our opponent's not going to have Demolition Field or Field of the Dead today. Hopefully. Anyway, let's get into the matches. It all starts right now. CoolStuffInc.com is a proud sponsor of this channel, and you can show your support while getting 5% off your entire order and a free The One James Goblin Shaman token by using the code JAMES5 at checkout. Need singles for constructed or kitchen table play? Looking to pick up sealed product or the latest in magic accessories? We've got you covered. CoolStuffInc.com is the place for all your Magic the Gathering needs, and support me by using the code JAMES5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Hex Mage. I'm already over the amount of aggro that's in best of one. This was best of three would be mopping people. They just didn't attack. Underpants. Get lost. Enough with the mysteries. Haven't you ever heard of personal space? They passed. I don't want to do this, but I'm discarding a land. <laughs> we all have things we'd rather. Because I want to kill this underdog with the trumpeting carnosaur when it attacks by Liliana. Oh, it could be just a shieldred. They're just playing that into my Liliana. Okay, land. We're so lucky. We're going to do Appraiser first, just in case we, we can't even cast Appraiser. Our mana base is amazing. <clears throat> Great. This was boring and new. <laughs> Off you go. I mean, there's 18 red sources in this deck, so we definitely should have two by now. Aklazots? Deal with it. I like that we get two Obdixels next turn with the uh, with the incubator token. All right, use your use your thing. Map token. Handy grapple. Oh, wow. My get lost helps them. It's 
surprised they use the map token because if they have if they have bargain cards in their deck, they might want to keep those on those in play. Like with Beseech the Mirror. That's a good card. I think I want to do this though. So some chaos. Defy me, and you lose everything. Defy me, and you lose everything. Don't you love my deck with two double red cards in it, and then only has one red land by turn five? I do. Crap. One of my Omnixiluses die. Alright, can I get an Anoint with Affliction one time, please, for this underdog? Next time, I'll cut you down. Ooh, a red source. Things you love to see. <laughs> Your punishment is my entertainment. So we're gonna try to get another planeswalker here with this Carnosaur. Alright, Quintorius one time. I'll take a Jaya. I'll make a one one monk. Get out there and blaze a path. Get out there and blaze a path. Thank you, Jaya. This might be where opponent scoops. Can you imagine a a flying angel trumpeting carnosaur? <laughs> I think I want to do that just because it's funny, not because it's good. On it, what you got? Oh, Golden God. Four mana to fairy in a modern format feels wrong. Uh, it's going to be three mana to fairy. They unbalanced the rebalance cards, thankfully. No! Oh, that's so good! Oh, God. Wow. That's the actual answer to our hand. <laughs> wow. That was so good! Jesus Christ! That's the best Wrinkles prank I've ever seen. Like, actually. Wisdom kindles the heart. <laughs> Pleasure doing business. Violence is necessary to set things right. You fight for me now. Alright, now let's see if they drew an answer to our 2 3. They did not. Okay, we're gonna need to draw an answer to this virtue. Because they can bring back our Carnosaur, and that's not good. They can also bring back their Shieldred. I think I'm blocking if they attack Soren. If they attack Obnixilus, I'm just gonna let it go. Crap, they chose the right one. How about a land? Uh, let's go ahead and do this. That's a farewell. That's really good. That answers everything. 
Besides our planeswalkers. This hand is really good. I don't know how good it is against a Jetmere's Garden, though. Okay, we can play this because if they deal with it with Leyline Binding, they don't have blue mana right now, so they can't Leyline Binding us. Go ahead. Fight me as hard as you can. But this Anointed with Affliction is probably dead unless we play against like a... Unless they go like green mana or like any land plus the 4-4. They don't have the 4-4. Gaia. They can do this. We're going appraiser or Jaya? I guess we'll go Jaya since it's more aggressive. Them everything they know. I haven't played with Jaya enough to, to hear all the voice lines, but now they have blue mana. Alright, come on, Leyline Binding. Come on, Leyline Binding. Whoa, they passed. Well, what do we do if they pass turn? We do this. Liliana, please. Path of Peril. Put that in hand. I really don't want to play against a Wandering Emperor here. Earth migration. We get a sunfall here, but I'm okay with that. Uh, I guess we should anoint affliction, anoint with affliction this, so that they get a smaller, a smaller uh, thing. Land, please, so we can cast Kaya. Thank you. Um, what's Jaya's ultimate? Whenever you cast a red instant or sorcery, copy it twice. Well, good thing we have, like, zero red instant or sorceries in this deck. Give a toast? <laughs> I'd love to. Get out there and blaze a path. I was expecting a more impressive draw game. two, scry one, sure. I'll keep watch. Please scry to the top. Thank you. At least I can't lay line binding Kaya. Opponent seems sad. Let's give him a scry. Yeah, you're right. They're gonna draw three. Wow, they play a land and pass. They, they just scoop the game? Let's go! I really, really don't like playing against Esper Control. With my tap out, with my tap out Planeswalker deck. Uh. The good thing is, is they don't have a lot of good answers to Planeswalkers, but the problem is resolving one.
Whoa. How did that resolve? Wow. Okay, I think I want to hold up Trumpeting Carnosaur. Oh, the Carnosaur doesn't actually work anymore. So smart from them. Except for we have Emperor. Um... We could we could just play Carnosaur. And then accept that Vraska might die. A fight? And you think you can win? Drop it. So they're going to attack the Vraska, because if they don't, I ult Liliana. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to ult Liliana then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I didn't want to play this matchup, but if they're going to let me do that, then sure. Restless Cottage. Probably a grindy... No! I haven't been pilfered in like a month. On it? I have no play. You took my turn three play from me. Don't pill for me again. No. All right, we discard a land, and then we have to hope to get like get lost off the appraiser. Two appraisers. Okay, I feel better about this. <laughs> We're so good at this game. We just get whatever we want to get. Blossoming Tortoise, eh? Yes, so that's scary. Take a Jaya. Make a thing. Flames roar, but with a little focus, the experience will do you good. Is this a new brew? Yes, it is. Galissa. Virtue, yep. That's why I made a creature, so you couldn't kill my planeswalkers. Crap, they, every time they mill wrestle scotch with this, it's just so broken. Alright, and then they're gonna use a map token on, on Blossoming Tours in second main. Got into standard recently, love trying out new decks. Ooh, ooh, I, I don't think they should have targeted the Glissa. Ooh, that's pretty good. Okay, so first things first, let's do this. Second thing, second. Hmm. Liliana well, guaranteed gets rid of one of these, but that, does that even matter?
I don't think so. A braid. Well, I guess it was good that they targeted Glissa. Go on, impress me. Go on, impress me. This deck originally had wedding announcement in it, but I took them out for more planeswalkers. Terra Sunder, how dare you? I didn't want that planeswalker anyway. I want my Contorius in play. Pilfer, crap, I wanted that Liliana. Use your map token. Okay. At least that's not Takanuma. That's really good. Thank you for the Liliana anyways. Now opponent concede. Concede? Maybe? Oh, they could have animated their Mistress Foundry? No, they can't. It's two mana. Opponent listen to me? Nice. Two mana interaction. Sweeper. Planeswalker. Path of Peril good against Skrull. Unless I play Thalia. Amalia. Okay. Yeah, so we Path of Peril now. Because the next turn, next turn they're gonna play like Adeline or something, and then we're gonna get lost to that, or a Ruin Lurker Bat. I'm Plus here. Whenever you gain life, it explores. Okay, so we're playing uh, Orzhov Life Gain, especially with the Restless with the land. They're probably gonna kill this with the Bitter Triumph. Ooh, Voice of the Blessed. Okay, that's a really good one to get lost. Or just Vraska, honestly. Are we get losting it? Or are we casting Vraska? Hmm. Vraska minus two puts Vraska on two loyalty. Which is probably fine. Oh, right. If I do that, then they have mana for Restless Fortress. If they have a land drop. But they missed their land drop, right? So why don't we just proliferate? And then minus this, where they can't kill it with the Rune Lurker Bat, and they probably can't kill Vraska either. Oh, I have a job for you. Ossification. We can get lost that, though. All right, get lost. This. Minus on this.
Liliana this. With the <laughs> Plus Obnixilis drain one since we have a devil. Defy me and you lose everything. No attacks because I don't I want to block with the Restless Fortress in case they have a land. They didn't play a land, so probably all spells in hand. Well, they can top deck a land. And I'm playing around the top deck land. Frontliner. Scoop. Nice. I think we discard the Liliana there. They probably have removal, but it, but that's fine. That's one thing I don't like about a note with, with affliction. Is that it doesn't actually kill children. Go ahead. Plead for mercy. I mean, at least we get to kill Liliana. And if we draw, if we draw any removal for Shieldred or like any other proactive play, we should be fine. Not worth the effort. Unlucky. We would have we, we we if they didn't discard our hand we would have had uh, Liliana in hand for this. But that's an answer. Try one to the top, eh? Virus beetle. Another shieldred. Oh, wow. What about my shieldred? Not this turn, though. Another. Don't care if this gets attacked for one. I think we're we supposed to gain life here. How can I die? I think I'm supposed to draw cards. Since they're probably going to scry with Hopeless Nightmare anyway. Gotta think on my feet. This also can't kill Shieldred. I don't think I can die. It's like, even if they have Tenacious Underdog, we still don't lose. If they play another Shieldra, we still don't lose. 
So it's like, how can we lose at five? I don't know. I'll find a way. My opponent will find the line. Lord Skitter, that doesn't kill me. Then we can gain life every turn with uh, Kaya. You're not safe. So let's go ahead and use Jaya first. Things are getting heated. Let's make, make a thing. Amazing. You're no match for my. Let's students. cast appraiser. And try to get a Planeswalker before we proliferate with Vraska. Three mana Planeswalker. Get lost is still fine. Proliferate. Let's go. All right, guys, thank you very much for hanging out. If you do want to upgrade this deck, there is something you can do, okay? We lost every single game we played against Mono Red. I didn't show you them because they're awful games, but we went 6-4 and four against everything that wasn't Mono Red. But we went 0-5 against Mono Red, so you do the math. If you do want to improve against Mono Red, play, you can play like uh, anything that gains life, basically like Knockout Blow, or you can play um, um, the 2-mana Sunset Revelry, um, to shore up that matchup, and you can cut, like, a Trumpeting Carnosaur, and you can cut, like, um, the Chandra's. I probably should cut for best of one. For best of three, I think Chandra just to kill is really good. But for best of one, Chandra is basically unplayable because it loses to Mono Red. So I would replace the Chandra and the Trumpeting Carnosaur for four copies of Sunset Revelry or Knockout Blow, whichever one you like. And I'd probably replace two Abrades for one Vraska and one, um... And one more like Path of Peril or something, or one more thing that gains life, like uh, Wandering Emperor or Arch Archangel Elspeth or Soren, something something that has life link or gains life. But anyway, if you want to show up against Mono Red, do that. If not, if if anything, if you don't care about playing Mono Red and you want to concede that matchup, you can definitely do really well in best of one with this deck. So deck list is down in the description below. I will see you in the next one. And as always, peace.